it's it's a very difficult question because you know you're you know we we live in such a divisive time it's very difficult for me to imagine how we're going to get out of this <laughs> but that is i think i don't care who you are uh where you come from um what your beliefs are we have to return to civility we have to return to uh, reason discourse. And I cannot imagine anything beyond that. Um, and that's for all of us. Uh, if we can somehow find a way to stop talking at each other and just listen, um, if we can stop tweeting and, 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 and expressing ourselves constantly, because to some extent, that expression is hateful. We can find a way to just listen and engage, then I think we have a much better future. Beyond that, uh, I don't know that it's, 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 for me, something to imagine because we can't make any progress until we return to civility and we have become an uncivil society. We have no room for alternative viewpoints. We shun them, we disgrace people for whatever they believe, People are afraid to express themselves. Um, I have, uh, you know, I, I have difficulty imagining any positive outcomes until we're all committed to allowing voices to be heard and people to be allowed to speak. I am grateful that as a woman, um, I'm living in this time. I am grateful because, um, you know, 10, 20, 30, 50 years ago, maybe this wouldn't have been possible. So that's the kind of progress I think that as we move forward, we need to see more women take leadership uh, roles and and you know have voice have a voice. And I, I'm optimistic that that diverse voice is going to have an impact on on civility. <laughs>